Hey everybody, good morning. Time for another installment of 7 Minutes in the Morning. My name is Tom Rigsby, your host, and we're going to get started with today's edition of Free Coaching Friday right after this. I did a bad thing, <laughs> a bad thing this morning. I forgot to plug up my microphone. Hope that is better. We'll find out here in just a minute. If you can hear me okay, just give me a wave, say hi. Leave me a comment in the, the comments down there like Ramona just did. Good morning. Thank you for being here, Ramona. And thank all of you, whether you're watching live or watching on the replay. It's awesome to have you here with me this morning. It's Friday. That means today's show is a free coaching Friday edition. All week this week, uh, we've been talking about the seven keys to a happy, healthy, balanced life. We're going to have to let that run over into the next week because there's only five days in the week and seven things to cover. So, uh, so, so far we've talked about managing your time, paying attention to your health, taking care of important relationships, and finding your emotional labor. If you didn't watch that one, in fact, I should point out, I should say this, talk about this. Yesterday's show ended abruptly as, the you know, Facebook just said, nope, that's all, it's all the time you get today. And cut me off. So I, I was at the end of the content, I just didn't have a good wrap up and say hello. Or goodbye. So the good stuff is in there, go watch that from yesterday, just don't be offended that it ended so quickly. <clears throat> All right. So today, hey, good morning, Keith. Good to see you too. Um, so today I wanted to talk about a question that comes about a lot when we start talking about managing our time. Because one of the things that I hit you with, I pound this pretty hard. I know Keith can attest to this. Choose one priority. Right? You can only really give your best and highest effort to one thing at a time. So when we say that we can manage multiple priorities, we're really just uh, saying that we can't decide what the number one thing is. So one of the questions that came in this week as we were talking about that, all the way back from Monday's show, was I can't, I, I can't, the, the way my work is organized, I can't get it down to one priority. So, <clears throat> excuse me, I wanted to talk about that just a little bit and maybe Maybe give you a tip for helping find some clarity on that. So, <clears throat> being able to choose one priority, to focus on one thing at a time, I believe depends really on two things. Number one, and this is number one across the board, everybody everybody needs to do this, everybody thinks they have this in their head, but very few people do. Be super clear on what you're trying to achieve. Whether it's what you're trying to achieve today, this week, this month, this year, in a lifetime. Be really clear on what it is. The reason that that is important is because it becomes a great filter for helping you choose priorities. If I know that today I have to get 10 invoices out and and, and, and that's necessary for me to, that's the outcome that I'm trying to create. As different distractions and whatnot come up during the day, I can now use that, that outcome of getting 10 invoices out. I can use that as a filter for deciding whether to allow myself to be distracted by these other opportunities. All right? So number one, be super clear on what it is that you're trying to create. Number two... Man, number two, <laughs> number two left me there all of a sudden. You know, that's what happens when, so I, I do write notes down here. I just didn't write those two down there. So, uh, let's see, where was I? Two things that help you choose a priority. One is being really super clear on what it is that you're trying to do. And number two is being honest with yourself. This is the one that, that most of us 
cheat on all the time. Well, yeah, okay, I know that that's what I'm trying to create, but I really want to do this too. So I'll say that I'm doing that and I'll do some of this also. And what happens when you get, when you get to the end of the day, let's just say, for example, in the morning you said, I've got these two things. These are the most important things, right? If, if you tried to manage two priorities during the day, you get to the end of the day and only neither one of them are done and you only have enough time to finish one or the other. Right? So you've got a couple of possible outcomes. One is I choose neither. I don't get anything done. The other is I choose one over the other. The reality is that that was the priority all day anyway. We were just lying to ourselves, not being honest with ourselves, that that was really the priority. And, and look, it doesn't matter to me. You can tell me whatever priority you want it to be because it's not my priority. It's not a test. It is a question for you that helps you focus, right? So both of those kind of lead us back to this idea of we have to focus. And I know, I know, it is for me too. That's a dirty word, having to focus, choose one priority, right? But when we're able to do that, great things can happen. I mean, and, and so here's, here's a practical tip for you to help with that. Man, all kinds of practical tips we could do with this. But, but here's one, maybe the most important one. One of the reasons that we struggle against choosing one priority is because we know that we've got a list of things we need to do, so I can't just focus on one. I might forget the rest of them. So, have a system, right? It doesn't matter, and I say this all the time, it doesn't matter if it's stickies on the whiteboard, if it's a to-do list, if it's a notebook, if it's some fancy piece of software. Just have a system. Get it out of your head, get it in the system, trust the system. When you do that, I don't have to worry about trying to keep up with those things because I trust my system. I know that I can go back, see these, let's see if I can point them out. There, those two little white stickies right there. Those are new ideas. Get those two? Yeah, and those two. Ooh, I've got four up there. Four new ideas that I need to put some effort behind. I, as I sit here right now, I could turn around and read them, but I don't remember what they are. Right? I've captured the idea, I put it up there on the board, and then when the time comes, I'll go give them its due. But I don't have to try and remember them, I don't have to, to spend those brain cycles on them. All right? So I hope that that, well, let's see, Keith's got a good comment here. Like getting your number one priority sorted have a ripple effect to some of your lower priority items. Better health moves, other things, man, oh, dude, a hundred percent. I mean, when you don't focus on one thing and you try to do three things, then you don't give your best effort to anything. Right? Think about that for just a minute. If I've got, got some poker chips laying here. If I've got three projects that I'm trying to get done, right? And I'm trying to split my time between all three of them. Right? Oh, look, and this applies business owner, employee, doesn't matter. Everybody has this problem, right? If I've got these three projects and I'm having to constantly split my time between them, am I really able to give my best and the highest effort to any one of them? No. But if I can take one out of that stack and focus on that one until it's done, give it my best and highest effort, it won't take as much time. And I've got and do hours worth of shows on proving why that won't it, it'll be faster if you just focus on one. You get that one done, put it down, and now I can take another one off the stack, and it gets my best and highest effort. A lot of times what happens is we let other people drive our calendar, and it's not a matter of having the time to do it. It's, it's a matter of doing it within the time constraint. And when we let other people drive the time constraint, now they've got me all messed up, right? So one of the things that I encourage people to do, to do know, K-N-O-W, know the outcome you're trying to create, and then say no, N-O, to the things that don't get you there. But saying no is hard. Somebody comes to the door and says, hey, can you help me with so-and-so? No, not today. I can help you on Monday, but today I've got to get invoices out or, 
or whatever. It's that simple. But we say, oh, what do you need? Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, sure, I'll, I'll get that in today. And you just let somebody else drive your day. All right? Build some time into your calendar, maybe an hour or two a day, depending on how often it happens, that you can do, you can help other people. Then if you don't need to help other people on a given day, take off, you know, take off early, two hours. All right, uh, pumpkin effect, yeah. Yeah, actually, that's a great, uh, a great book, Keith. The pumpkin, uh, the pumpkin plan by Mike McCallowitz. Um, it really is. I mean, it's an interesting hook, but it's a great book too, where he talks about, you, you know, if you have a hundred pumpkins in the field and you let them all live, they're going to suck the resources out of the ground and none of them grow really big. But very early on, the farmer has to look at the pumpkins and see which one has the greatest growth potential and then prune the rest of them away. And it's in that pruning that the resources from the ground are able to feed one and make it into a giant pumpkin. It's a good book. If you had not read it, I'll put a link to it down in the comments. Thanks for pointing that out, Keith, reminding me about that. That is, that is a good one. All right, that's it for today. Hope that helps a little bit with choosing one priority. Know what it is you're trying to do. Be honest with yourself. Have a system. Get it out of your head. Get it in the system. Trust the system. All right, I'll be back again on Monday with another brand new installment of 7 Minutes in the Morning. I hope you will join me then. Please have a fantastic weekend, and I will talk to you then. Take care.